Hey guys, what's going on? Absolutely beast here. So today I'm bringing you a game uh, that I played on zombies uh, with a gentleman. Uh, best public match I've ever had, for sure. Uh, we completed the Easter egg with four of us. That's not true. We, we had four of us. One guy left after he was really struggling to get the Easter egg. And uh, first little bonus clip at the beginning, me reaching level 500. That was kind of cool. Uh, but anyway, so this is uh, me and him playing on here. Uh, that was round 52 or 53 or something like that, and this is on round 62, uh, which is actually what we got to. Um, and so we did the Easter egg, started with four of us, one guy left. We were trying to help him with the challenge, but we, we weren't able to communicate. I was only able to send him messages through the app, and uh, he just wasn't able to get the challenge. And we were actually kind of upset, and then eventually he just left. Um, and so then there were three of us, and then my friend had to go. And uh, so me and this other guy just kept on playing, and we were going for a high round, and we ended up getting as far as I've ever gotten on this map, um, as far as I've ever gotten with two people, uh, and also the best public match I've ever had. And uh, it was pretty cool, so I just decided to put this clip up. I mean, at this point, I had no ammo um, with anything. So right before this, I had spent, I don't even know how much, you know, probably... 30, 30 to 40,000 points hitting the box, trying to find a good weapon. And I, I couldn't get it. I was looking for the KT-4, which is this wonder weapon I have out right now. This is the upgraded version, but uh, I was trying to find it, and I couldn't. I mean, seriously, it took us... I probably wasted, like, 15 minutes just doing that. And so that's what he was using the whole time, so he ended up with a lot more kills than me. But at this point, um, I had no ammo. And I just see him go down right there, and I'm like, dude, I think this is the end of the game. Uh, I had a chance to go here for a Phoenix up, which I tried to do. I didn't get it. I got anywhere but here, which is not what I needed. As soon as I came this way, I realized it was a big guy, and I hesitated for a second, and I saw him moving, and I thought, oh, no. Well. Oh, man. So, I mean, anyway, I, I ended up getting out of there, but uh, this, was, this was basically the end of the game. You're just going to watch me uh, flop like a fish out of water here. You know, that, like, sad moment where you just the fish is just dying, and you know it's dying. It's just like, yep, he knew I was dying right there when I saw I couldn't get him. I decided to make a go for a gobble gum, hesitated. I was like, nah, I can't do it. But I mean, I have nothing, man. No ammo at all, which is so bad. And, and I actually, I would have had it, but I made an epic, epic mistake. I saved an ammo all the way until the end thinking, like, I'll use it at a good time, and I didn't use it. And then on round 57, we didn't really have any ammo, so I was like, all right, man, I'll use this ammo. And... Dude, it was a spider round, which they give you an ammo at the end of every spider round, and we had just been saving one spider for like 10 minutes, and I was so upset. The moment I took the ammo, I realized what I did, and so it probably cost us the game, um, but I wasn't doing as well to begin with, because, I mean, once you get here, I mean, honestly, even once you get into the 40s, it does get to be pretty hard to kill the zombies, so we were still doing okay in the 40s. Once we got into the 50s, it started to become a real struggle. Um... I mean, you, you on this one you have to alternate between the wonder weapon and um, the you know your gun, and you have to have the right perks on the pack a punch gun, and then you have to have this uh, Masamune, as I call it. Some people call it the Masamune. I don't know. I think it's Japanese, so I think Masamune makes more sense. But anyway, beside the point. If you don't have that, you're gonna be in trouble. And so I just man, it was bad. I was just trying everything I could right here, and I just was trying to think of a way that I could save it. And there's just no ammo. I had gone around and checked all the plants. Didn't have any plants or anything. And at this point, I realized, like, I'm going to have to buy a weapon and attempt to pack a punch it. Which was not ideal at all. But, I mean, once you get into the even the 50s, I mean, you're pretty much running out of ammo at least every other round. And once you get into the 60s, it's every round you're running out of ammo. So, these rounds really take a long time. Like, the game, you know, takes a while. But then to get from uh, 53 to 63 right here took us um, over an hour. Just to go 10 rounds, which is pretty long uh, of rounds. And, I mean, this, this was a great game. This ranked us. Technically, it was still a four-person game, even though there was just two of us at the end, which is kind of the benefit of if people leave and you just keep playing, it'll count as a four-player game. So, I mean, there's pretty much nobody that can go that far with four people. So, it ended up ranking me uh, number 587 on the overall leaderboards, which is pretty epic. That's, that's as high as I've been ranked uh, in this Zombies. In fact, when I got to uh, 93 on Dreisendrak, uh, on solo, it was, uh, I only got, I mean, you're gonna see a, a nice move here to get out of here, getting rid of all these zombies, but 
I mean, this was just dumb. But anyway, so Duraz and Dark Elves only ranked around 1,000 or so. So 587 is epic. So um, thank you guys for checking this out. I appreciate it. And you're going to just watch me die a horrible death. But thanks for checking out my stuff. Make sure you check out my channel. If you like my content, there's plenty of other videos there. Um, and there's plenty more to come. I've been trying to upload every day. I haven't quite made it every day, but I've uploaded uh, 10 or 12 videos uh, in the last week and a half. So thank you guys. See you next time.